to walk in and win week at Millionaire. We are here at Walt Disney World for the biggest global bash in Disney history, the happiest celebration on earth. And no one is having a better time at this party than our returning contestant, Dr. Henry Stark, a podiatrist from Palm Beach Gardens, Florida. Welcome back, Henry. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now, yesterday, you were like these folks. You were sitting here in the audience. You came to play. You had a, what was your number? 55. 55, and we called it, and you, you looked shocked. I was shocked. shocked. It's an incredible feeling. It is. I'm sure it is. And the only reason that Henry is here is because his wife basically pushed you out of bed and said, you got to come and do yes. it. She believes in you. Your kids yes. believe in you. Yes. You have four kids. Three of them are in the audience. Who am I looking at? Hi, guys. Let's see, on the... Henry? Jordan is 14, Rachel in the middle, and Aaron on the left. Very cute kids, very nice. Thank when you. they do this, I know they're normal all American kids. Thank but, you. And I know your wife is here, but she's with the younger one who's she's taking a nap, so they're yes. not in the audience right yes. now. Well, Henry, you said to me yesterday this whole thing feels somewhat surreal. Boom, you're in the seat. No time to think about it. Zero. 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 I was in the car at five, I was at the uh, gates at six, at seven they pulled us in, at eight o'clock I got chosen. And here we are. And here you are. Not, not only are you here, Mr. Henry Stock has $16,000. Yes, he does. He is six away from winning $1 million. No lifelines left, but if you get the next question right, the $25,000 question, you will get our new lifeline. Switch the question. And I have your Capital One check made out, Henry. Kids, take a look at this. It's for $1 million. I am, Meredith. Thank you. Folks, are you ready to play? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, Henry Stark, for $25,000. Cellophane is a transparent material commonly made from what? Wood pulp, clay, sand, petroleum. It's either petroleum or wood pulp. No. We have plastic wrap, but cellophane is older. A wood pulp, final answer. Oh my gosh. At home, there are people screaming at their television screams, you should have done petroleum, and they would be wrong. It is wood pulp. <laughs> I knew it all along. <laughs> what a lie. <laughs> 25. Oh my God. Your kids' smiles are stretched so far across their head. Oh my gosh. Henry. Yes. I know you feel that it's it's not happening to you, no, but it's it not. is. It's, it's not. happening to you. You have 25,000. You have the new lifeline. Switch the question, okay? So you're you're back in this game wow. big time. Oh. Oh. 50,000. Five away from one million dollars. Are you ready to play? I'm ready, Meredith. Yes. In 1982, who became the first performer to appear in MTV's popular "I Want My MTV" ad campaign? Sting, Mick Jagger, David Bowie, Pete Townsend. Eighty-two is a heyday for the Stones. It, it could be. I'm thinking Mick Jagger. It's my biggest inclination. Well, the question is, do you feel good enough about it to go for it, or do you have that switch the question? Switch it. Switch it? Okay, yes. computer. Let's see what the right answer was. Mm -hmm. Ah, you were, when you thought the Stones, it was the heyday, Mick Jagger. But it was a calculated risk, and now you have to get another question, please. Computer, another question, valued at 50000 Ah, another music one. John Lennon's final concert performance featured a duet of Whatever Gets You Through the Night with what musician? Eric Clapton, Joe Cocker, 
Elton John, Roger Daltrey. Pretty sure this is Joe Cocker. Um, so at this point, it's 25,000. I walk away with that, or it's a guess. Um, pretty sure it's not Roger Daltrey. I think Joe Cocker made this somewhat famous. Pretty sure it's not Eric Clapton. I'm sure it's not Elton John. I'm probably wrong. Um, I'll go with B, Joe Cocker. Final answer. Not Joe Cocker. It was